Hello everyone and welcome back to Endzone. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Now, I think this is where we left off the last time. I'm not entirely sure. Well, it should be. Because I made a mistake. I recorded like a whole one and a half an hour long video. Or I thought I was recording it because I didn't press the record button. So it got wasted, so I skipped back here and we are doing, uh, well, at least I will be doing a lot of things again. But on the bright side, I already figured out a few things. For example, this is a gather plants post and we don't need that. So also our main goal will be to prosper and to start researching uh, electricity because we need wind turbines to boost up production all over our town okay let's uh, get into it and we are waiting for children to grow up so they can go and work and we are at a drought right now it's not the best place but it could be worse And I also realized in the meantime that this thing needs uh, metal tools. So we are switching our production to metal tools. And we don't need plastics, we need metal. Okay, hopefully because I already done this, I won't be uh, screwing it up again. Or Screwing it up this time around. Now we have an epidemic, but uh, I hope it will pass away without too many people passing away. Oh, we have a new worker and we should put him right here. Okay, and we do this quest. Because we need only produce a couple of medicine and it will be over. Hopefully in this season. Okay, we have a little problem with food. But I think we are on it and the most importantly the confidence level is really high now. Which means uh, we will have more and more children. And we will be getting with the metal tools there where we, where we should be. Okay, our workers uh, number are steadily increasing. Our food levels are still not the best. And I don't know why this building doesn't have water, because we have water here. Oh, maybe because the water tower gets water from there. And you cannot get water directly from here. Is that it? Okay, but uh, it doesn't say it require anything, but if that's the case, let's put the working area there and still. Still not registering that uh, it has a water tower filled with water. And I don't know why.
transfers resources. What kind of resources? Coal, I think, and now he goes where? Okay, I figured this one out, but uh, it doesn't complaining uh, about water anymore, so I think it's okay, maybe, but that's just not okay. We need wood. I hope we'll have enough people to start the irrigation before the draw. Well, maybe. Okay, we got the metal tool event again. Which means if we produce a few more metal tools, we will get more. And that was the way the first time we finished this quickly. That's a good one. And we have enough workforce. To make this work. And now we will need more uh, someone to do science, obviously. And we need more uh, scrap and more wood. But we are prospering, despite all the odds. Oh, great! Well, not so great. We did a mission and we lost 100 wood and 100 scrap, but we got uh, a knowledge point. And that will be very useful. Because we can start with electronics. Or do we want... No, I think what we want to do is to create uh, enough wood and scrap and then start because during while we're waiting for the resources uh, knowledge, knowledge points are not generated and I want them to be generated while we wait for the resources. So yeah, that's the plan. And we have an epidemic, but I think we are equipped to deal with it. I think I have to increase our medicine production as well. Putting one and one people here just in case okay guys i noticed that our wood and scrap reserves are not really increasing and now i'm trying to limit the product uh, the production levels so everything that is consuming uh, scrap and wood will hold on because we, they are reaching the limit so if they drop under the limit, they can, uh, they will produce uh, some material. So it will allow us to raise these resources. And we have three settlers. So let's uh, let down a task. Uh, 
One guy should be working on that. No. We have an unassigned workforce. And a tree has been chopped down. Okay, now our stuff is increasing. That's good. Come on, we need 150 from each. Or just 100? 150. Well, uh, 130 and I think I will... Okay, what's eating away the scrap? This. This is eating the scrap. You know what? We're putting you a little on hold. If everybody has a tool right now. We have some reserves. Also, I have to think about uh, more food, but we really, really have to do that research. And it's still, uh, you're still removing scrap. What, what else is eating the scrap? Oh, because we don't have enough cloth now. Okay, if we are... Uh, uh, okay. We stop this production as well. Just a little bit we have to increase... Uh, this and... That's, that's the thing about scrap. It's not uh, easy to gather because you can replant the trees, so this guy is here forever. But with the scrap we have to move on. Okay, 111. Come on, guys. Bring us back some scrap. And then we can start the research. And I'm curious about if we start the research and when we're finishing it, if we get uh, uh, this back or we start the next knowledge from scratch. There is no more scrap there. Let's put it there. And I let the unassigned workforce work on this. Okay, 123. I think that's, that's enough to start. a little bit of tool so, uh, shortage. I think that's okay.
We need only 15 scrap. Okay, hopefully that's the last resource we need. No, we need, still need five. Okay. So they are so. What? Okay, now it's starting. All right, I was worried about that we had the knowledge. Okay, now we will switch to capture animals. And as luck has it, we can put a, a pasture just there. And let's use that well as well. And I want to know if I put this here. It will still producing stuff for us, hopefully. Okay, I think I learned another uh, uh, good lesson. Uh, about these production limits and how they work. Oh, we have housing problems now. And we will have housing problems. Okay, how about uh, starting a new settlement around here so we can expand this way. So at least a lot of settlers will live around these parts where we need the workforce. So let's build a shelter here. I don't want to build cabins hopefully they will build this one first okay we have the research and it is continuous where it last left off okay that's just great. Okay, you can work now. We need the stuff you can produce. And we need one more guy here to start producing electronics. In fact, if we have, oh, we have the workforce. Need some metal sheets and some wood. How many builders do we have? Two. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Let's put one people there. Oh, this workshop has a workforce in. Interesting. Well, I can take advantage of that. And also, I think we need another tailor. And, as it turned out, we can use this uh, storehouse after all. And here's a dust storm.
Yeah, we are uh, lacking protective gear. That was the cost of electronics, basically. But we have buffaloes here, so that's another food source. And they require, I believe, water. And they're producing milk even better. Assign workforce. So let's assign new builders. Low water reserves. Of course, we are in the middle of uh, a drought, or it was a drought. And that's why we are building this. Or at least we should be building it. So what's the matter? Where are our builders? I heard some hammering, so they are doing something somewhere. Oh, okay, because everything is dried out. All right. Okay, if we want to survive, I think we need this water tower for one, and we have to go build pastures here. For food, or not pastures, uh, farming grounds. Wait a minute, this can... But this cannot have water from a jetty. Interesting. Okay, so let's... Put some farming here. What's with the uh, builders? Why are they, they are not building anything? How can I check uh, where are our builders? Okay, she's bringing resources. Okay, one hedge is complete at least. Yeah, the high level of radiation, it seems, uh, it makes the settlers infertile. So we really need this tailor shop. Because a lot of settlers needs uh, 
uh, protection and we don't don't have enough medicine so let's put more workers collect herbs and we can even create a task yep understood this is a good uh, activated carbon masks let's switch to that okay we don't have enough cloth now so we're switching this production to cloth as well but we have more and more protective clothing uh, or less settlers who needs them who needs it ah you have to choose a seat here Because we are running out of food as well. We have a knowledge point so we can do the wind turbine. Okay guys, it seems we have a tiny bit of problem with radiation right now. So I don't really know what to do about it, we are producing medicine. We are collecting herbs. Well, I think that's that's it. And we are doing this uh, quest for protective clothing. And speaking of quests, Let's check out this one. Okay, that's free resources. More settlers, no thanks, we have enough settlers now. The problem here is the radiation. Well, make the settlers happy there. Down more. Decorations. Like that. Okay, what about protect... Yes, the... The children are dropping because of the high radiation and that's not good and I don't know how to cure it. Well, I think I... We already have a task here, okay. Now let's they are gathering plants. Hopefully herbs as well.
I think. Okay, we researched a new technology and we have wind turbines. Now that's great because we can put down a few. Okay, we did the masks quest and now we can build a wind turbine here. So we can increase the production of these of these workshops. Yeah, we don't have enough cloth. So I think another wind turbine is in order here. We are switching to scrap tools. Yep. Because we have a lot of scrap and we need the metal for for these projects. We need another cabin that's the least of our problems. The high radiation is the problem and and we are equipping our settlers with protective gear. But yes, because we have very few children and there are no new children here because I guess the population is infertile. Okay. What's the power need here? 150 and 150. Ah, yeah. So, that's why. Okay, these are powered up now. need new children's but the radiation of the settlers are pretty high and now I don't have uh, any idea how to bring them down I guess with medicine because the medicine is pretty low okay so this still has a hundred energy left that's great because that way Yep, we can transfer some energy to that recycler as well. Is this can be powered? Well, I think we should hook uh, up this to a power grid, but for that we need more electronics and uh, metal why is just producing one it has a lot of workers and it has electricity oh we are running out of coal and increase the workforce there
don't power the hunting lodge. Okay, what else is connected? Okay. That's much better. We need a little bit of food here and it will be fine. 61, it's still increasing. Despite that we are producing a high amount of medicine. We have a lot of protective gear. Or the infertile uh, radiated adults. Okay, let's check one of these guys. Okay, high level radiation, but how can we lower that? And he's also a very old adult. A bit better, but I feel I feel our numbers will be uh, dropping again. And that won't be a joke when we're starting to die out due to old age. Then we have to figure out again uh, what buildings we, uh, should be shutting down. Okay, let's research a weather station. Oh, we need a lot of stuff for a weather station research. But the weather station will uh, allow us, I think, to protect uh, our food supply from radiation. So go for plastic and what else do we need for the weather station? Plastic, metal and cloth. Okay, that was a quick one. Still 62, but we are producing a lot more medicine. Sixty-one, okay. 
we are getting somewhere at least. Back to scarves. Still, they have three workers and still producing only two coals. Okay, let's research the weather station. Okay, now just 60. Okay, we are slowly going down. I think thanks to the medicine. Yeah, we are starting to dying out. Well, I think the maj majority of our people will die, and then uh, a small community can rise again. But at least we have a lot of more infrastructure, and these will help a lot in the future. And while we are this many people are still alive, need some metal and plastic. Yeah, let's let's give up. Or delusion that we can solve this problem so let's uh, prepare for the future and build stuff and research stuff of course mm, who are doing the plastic those are the ones who get sick Okay, the radiation is slowly seems to going down, but I don't. Th oh, because I think because it, it go down because somebody is dead. Okay, we scouted the ruins, and maybe maybe we are sending an expedition there. No settler has any badges. How unfortunate. So we cannot explore it fully. Okay. But now we have a weather station. And I want to put it right next to the cemetery. Okay, and let's send two more expeditions here and here.
keep producing food and keep using water for uh, irrigation and two water cutters I need to want for, for coal production but the whole thing is uh, slowly the whole settlement will be slowly shrinking and this is a very we will have a very very high casualty rate here And I was wondering if the iodine pills is something we should research. Mining iodine. And that means nothing. Maybe if we can mine iodine, the the hospital can produce iodine pills automatically if we have the resource. Okay, our first expedition had arrived and we are just looting some electronics and uh, wheat. And it seems that uh, our radiation contaminated settlers uh, are going down or they are just dying out and replacing with healthy ones but what is most uh, most important we are making progress here with the weather station I hope we can start this up and protect uh, the fields from uh, contaminated rains Oh, okay. Expedition returned home. We need a lot of people in the medical facility. Fifty. Yeah, I think they are just dying out and replaced by uh, children. We cannot really cure them. Check this balanced diet. Other different sources. I wonder if we put one settler there, it will count as a different source. No, not really. So what should be the different source? What else can we do for food? Field, orchard, gathering post, pasture, hunting lodge, fishing hut. We have everything. Let's wait for a bit and we'll see okay now we have the got the weather station and it doesn't require any settlers to operate set the rain contamination level at which the respective buildings are supposed to be covered to protect them i think with medium uh, i can tolerate low radiation And they are now protected. And we can see the radiation levels as well. Great. Okay guys, I think that's, uh, that's it for this episode. We made progress. 
Well, maybe we went two steps forward and one step back because this radiation is still a problem. And our numbers are going down, but I'm confident that we can pull the trick. What we did at the beginning of the game, so we let the radiated people die out. Our numbers will be shrinking, but uh, we can keep producing the basic stuff and, and bounce back with the population. At least that's the plan. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.